Senior athletes from across the world have come to St. George to participate in the 35th annual Huntsman World Senior Games. Long lines for registration were an indicator of the number of seniors, ages 50 and up, that are attending this one-of-a-kind event. Welcome to the 2023 Huntsman World Senior Games. This year we'll host over 11,000 athletes from all around the world. 30 different nations are represented. Two of them are brand new to the games. Slovenia and Uruguay have athletes for the very first time at the Huntsman World Senior Games, which is exciting, thank you. Those who come here have a passion for the games they compete in. I've been playing softball all my life, senior softball for the last maybe 15 years. And I love senior softball. It's just fun. Thank you. Thank you. Now I am official, right? <laughs> For some, it's their first year, and they're doing it to stay healthy. Well, I'm going to go out there and play my heart out for sportsmanship and, uh, you know, uh, health uh, promotion. And for others, the games are a yearly commitment where they continue making lifelong friends. We have a great time. Uh, with a team sport like that, you have lots of comedy and uh, it's just fantastic, really. I love people. It's a gift I got from my dad. Long rest his soul, right? Yeah, he's long gone. Volunteers also play a big role for these athletes as they too get to meet people from all over. You see people that come year after year, and the best thing is you see their little badge, and you look at them and go, this is your first year, and, and what brought you here, and they find out where they're from. And then um, the other thing, some of them that are, okay, they have a big 15. It's like, you've been coming for 15 years, you get your ring this year. Athletes who've been coming here for 15 years or longer were paraded through the Dixie Center, these athletes receive a special award for their commitment to the games. Each athlete was recognized for their longevity with the John H. Morgan Endurance Award spanning up to 30 years. For 20 years, 25 years, and even some of you in this room have been here, this is your 30th year, so let's give you a hand. From Wenatchee, Washington, Carol Shook, been playing softball for 20 years. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. My name is Carol Shook. I've been coming here 20 years, uh, and I get my gold watch this year, and I come down to play senior softball with three teams, friends, and you meet a lot of nice people and have a lot of fun. Right here in St. George, Utah, Doris Hutchings, bowling and volleyball, 30 years. Congratulations. I keep saying if I get my 30 year, I won't need to go on, but I found out I can bowl with a bad knee, so I won't say I'm quitting. <laughs> it's really rewarding, just the friendship alone. After receiving their awards, the athletes had their pictures taken with the CEO of the Games, Kyle Case, and Rulon Gardner, past Olympic gold medalist, who now lives in St. George. I never was attacked by a cow, and I never tipped a cow. So. <laughs> Then it was time to head outdoors for the first ever Lighting of the Cauldron ceremony. Special music and dance by Vista School entertained those in the audience. When Rulin Gardner beat the unbeatable foe, Alexander Carlin, the Russian bear, Nobody thought that it could happen except for maybe one person, and that was maybe two people. That was Roland Gardner and his mom. Gardner inspired the athletes with his own personal story as a message to believe in themselves and never give up. Corellan was big and strong. I was going to be fast and quick. I was going to make him wrestle my match, not his match, because if I wrestled his match, he would beat me. I went out there, I pushed, I pushed, I pushed, until finally I broke him. I scored the point, and I won the Olympics. I won the match, I won the semifinals, I won the world championships to become a world champion. The first American to do that in Greco-Roman wrestling history. If you win, if you lose, you draw, pick them up, hug them, say love you, appreciate you, and I'll kick your butt next time. Well, I think he was saying keep going no matter what. You know, do your best, whatever that is, give it your all. The torch was then lit 
and handed down the line from athlete to athlete until it made its way to Gardner, who made the final touch, lighting off the cauldron. Let the games begin. Yeah.